All right, what is up and what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is G-Shock Hot Fashion Channel coming back to you with another triple unboxing video. Three years later, and here we are. I'm wearing the Baby G, which I already made a video about. But in this video, I'm just gonna share one more thing that has just occurred to this watch. I swapped the battery. And oh yeah, this watch didn't have any second hands at all, but the minute hand is acting like one, which is weird. And I have yet to know how to fix this kind of issues. Look at that, it is moving like that. Although I could uh, have the date display, but I don't have the time display. But the rest of the functions is working fine. So odd. Anyway, we're gonna have a look at the triple baby G review today all of them have been lined up down here so we'll start off by having a look at this green one this is the alternative to this all black version they are from the same casket series released in the year 2010 for both of them except this one has much more vibrant color in it there you go so if you want something simple go with black if you want some colors in your life at this green accents look at that look at how gorgeous this thing is Obviously, I could tell this one is made for fashion wear mostly, although it could offer still a lot of functions to, at first place anyway, but the colorway is just nice. It's just combination with a light tone of green with orange accents in the watch face. Gosh, this is just beautiful. It's just beautiful. Look at that. And it is a square watch. And look at how good it is on my wrist. This one has the IP process to black. This one will has silver uh, buckle. The hard case is white and it came with castle china i believe yeah fully made in china baby g watch but come on man and the price is not as high anyway gosh this is just beautiful okay next of uh, review will be on another alternative to this kind of guy you know as you can see, they are just the same. They have same profile, same shape, and same size, and same design. But this uh, one, sorry, I'm holding it upside down, has this seconds animations display on top. There's a G shape over there. Yeah, that is it. This one, however, have, I mean, didn't have that. The reference number for all these three models is BGA200. This one is also BGA200 LP for leopard print, since it has there it is leopard print on the watch band and also on the watch face it came in negative display this one negative display in gold this one is negative in green so same function same profile same shape but you are missing this counter animations over there but you have your baby g casio or things over there i mean they still have the space they could cut this space out but they didn't add it in there i don't know what reason but anyway it looks good already on its own it looks a little bit more simple and by doing so they could add in more leopard print on the watch face so no complaint the hard case came in black the back plate is stainless steel with uh, japan movement gets in thailand water is just to 10 bar and it operates on castle 5134 i believe this one is made in china right yeah this two is made in china this one is made in thailand the one with no uh, seconds display in there so i'm not really familiar with all these models but i like them a lot because they are square they are um, small size the fitting, oh my goodness, look at that. It's just so much better than G-Shock watches. And also, nobody gonna notice that as well. I mean, most people just didn't know if you're wearing a G-Shock or Baby G to begin with. So, why not give this thing a shot? If you don't like it, you just could give it away as a gift. I mean, the price is really affordable and they are incredibly tough. So, third watch would be this guy a totally different baby g which look like in the uh, vintage category this is called the bgr-30 stainless steel back japan Y water resistant to 10 bar so made in china made in thailand and made in japan all the way to the buckle as well yeah there is cast japan sign so a fully made in japan baby g and i can understand why by looking at the construction by holding it, it feels incredibly solid. Baby G uh, with blue accents on top. Chakra is over there. You have more padding at the front over here in gel material. This is metal casing to provide more protection for the mineral glass. And the watch face, oh my goodness, has the sunburst effect in baby blue colorways. Just so beautiful. 
and the sorzine bezel came in clear jelly material but with a pearl finishing on top I mean the attention to details a lot of things that add in here really makes the watch so cool but that's not all one more thing that makes this baby G so special and make me want to share this to all of you guys is because of the buttons look at the button on the side there are no G-Shock that have this similar feature because the button is translucent as well look at that you can see the metal shaft that goes in there with the spring uh, next to it so when you press this button it will press the uh, connection in there to the circuit board and the spring will push the button back outward so that's how the mechanism of your G-Shock watch button or baby G they all work in a similar way look at that you can see all four buttons on the side with the shaft it's just interesting and also, since the bezel is clear you can see the screws in there how they goes in there to lock into this white hard case very very nice and not just that they have more details on the strap you can see the spring bar in there if you look really closely there it is straight spring bar to lock this watch band to the lug and the strap has this texture on top it's just so nice it looks like the scale of a fish of some sort oh my goodness look at all those tiny little details you can actually feel it actually those are not printed on those are actually shape so nice but same goes to this side of the watch band as well this is the band keeper with g stem on top instead uh instead of baby g so that's cool so this is how it the overall uh watch face looks like and it kind of like remind me of the uh most any dg models from the lower side and also this master of g mod man yeah this is the mod man not the gauss man look at how similar they are this watch operates on casio 2774 this one operates on uh 1700 so this one has a little bit more advanced functions in it so here how it goes at home time you'll have the time in analog form those hands could glow in the dark and that's pretty much it and you also have the el backlighting to glow the digital display parts and that's all so next you'll have date display seconds display digital time display and world time display on top so technically this watch has dual time display at the same time you can swap those date to digital time display instead to match with this the uh, analog hands and next you could do in here is e-data memory where you could store in a lot of information for like phone number notes or whatsoever in here so you could give this watch away to your kids to bring them to school if you lost this it's not a big um, not a big deal as you compared to when you're losing a phone plus they could use this to add some notes some phone numbers some personal imp important information in here as well so that will be coming handy in the future next you'll have your world time in here so the sun will act as a am or pm time indicator so when it is night time this will change into moon shape and you could see that there's a mode indicator around the seconds counter in there so that's incredibly useful i mean they are, provide a lot of inf information for a, this tiny space alarm signal city and repeat function and all so next you'll have your city uh yeah they call the cd mode basically what it does is when you cycle through uh, se several different cities the watch will show you the months such as in january and the temperature in chicago in january is negative 10 or negative one and that's the range i'm not sure how to use these informations but knowing that the watch could tells you so it's just nice in my opinion next you'll have your alarm with signal a single alarm only and next you'll have your countdown timer all the way to 24 hour range so when you keep this countdown timer running you can see the dog parking over there just for fun and next you'll have your stopwatch if you leave this running there it is you'll have your dolphin over there it has a range only to 60 minutes next function will bring you to hand setting just in case you want to set the analog hand to match with the digital time and next we'll go back to home time clipping so in here since i already changed the uh, world time just now you can see that hold on let me show you guys this oh there it is night time in what is it chicago where where was where was we world time in the rio de janeiro it's 3 33 a.m so let's go back to home time right so since it is 3 a.m you can see that the watch will shows you a dot on the side of this moon so it is night time and it is at 3 a.m in the morning so this is how you know the world time the a.m p.m very uh minimalist type of display but it shows you a lot of information and that to me is great for a watch like this for a baby g that is insanely affordable 
I mean, it has so many things to offer. So when you wear the watch, it is quite easy. The, the watch band is shorter than G-Shock and the fitting is great. And it is really, really stiff. I believe this was released some sort of like the ICRC for Coral Reef uh, Conservation Society and uh, those type of release. So that's why you end up with this blue tone, jelly, ocean colorway. Overall, in conclusion, this is one of the greatest vintage affordable baby g that didn't look like a baby g as much anyway it looked like a g-shock it feels like a g-shock and yeah it is so much more affordable so give this one a shot if you don't care about the colorway i mean there are the color options anyway but this one is just in blue colorway so it's up to you guys i'm just exposing to you guys with all these informations and i hope you guys found this video a little bit more useful informative and entertaining thank you very much for watching this is jesha and i'll Hold on. There it is.